But one thing that we do exclusively, there's that word again, at least to my knowledge, I have looked long and far from other hosting apps like an Anchor, which is free, um, a, a uh, what's that other one? Um, God, it's blanking on me. I'm not doing this on purpose. Like a transistor, uh, the green one. Um, God, this is really annoying. I can't remember the name of them. My friend uses it. Spreaker. Spreaker's one of them. Um, they all offer different things in terms of distribution, but none of them offer posting one piece of audio to multiple RSS feeds. That is something we here at Ambiguous Podcast Solution separates us from everyone else. Once our app is finished and out there, you can have what is called a network feed. That network feed is all of your content. So I'm going to give an example for Talking Tire Truck. I'm going to give an example for Realtors and uh, um, an example for a sports network, like an ESPN. ESPN should do this. So let's go with, let's go with, let's go with the Realtor first. So say you run a realty agency in, here in Montclair, um, like Red House Realty. You would have one RSS feed with all of your realtors. So I am a realtor, Christian is a realtor, and his cousin Greg is also a realtor. And they each have properties. You know, in the previous example, um, in the previous episode, I gave why realtors should have podcasts because this example for them to show the property, videos, this, that, and the other, et cetera, et cetera. Now those all need to live somewhere. So you're gonna have the network feed, which is the big bubble, Red House Realty, which is gonna have Greg's episodes, it's going to have my episodes, it's going to have Christian's episodes, it's going to have Catherine's episodes, all in one feed distributed everywhere, right? So anyone who's interested in just that realty and wants to find a realtor can go and listen to those podcasts and find a realtor they want to work with. But also, I'm going to have my own feed. Christian is going to have his own feed. Catherine's going to have his own feed. And Greg is going to have his own feed. So on Spotify, when you type in Red Roof Realty, you're going to get a the main feed, which is all of our podcasts. You're going to get a feed for me, which is just my podcast and my listings. You're going to get a feed for Christian, which is, which is all of his listings, and et cetera, et cetera. Now, the purpose of this is to not, not spam, but one feed with too many episodes can be very confusing, whereas all of my properties are much more organized. And if I am selling to a family and they want to suggest me personally, they can send them to um, the feed, my feed, and say, here's here's Will's properties. Or if I do a bad job, but they found a house and they go, you know, Will wasn't that great, but the realty gave really good discounts and rates and mortgages rates. Here's the feed to the entire agency. Ignore Will's episodes. Look at Christian's. Look at Catherine's. That is a business tool you can do. Now, you can technically do that right now with podcasting apps, but for Anchor, you would need four accounts on Anchor. You need to log in and out of four different accounts. For Spreaker, same thing, four different charges. For um, the green one, Libsyn. That's it, Libsyn. For Libsyn, same thing. You might be able to manage them, but you got to copy and paste the posts for every single feed you manage, like a transistor. Uh, you can have as many podcasts as you want, but you can't post one piece of audio to multiple feeds at the same time. At Ambiguous Podcast Solutions, we can. So your your actual home like page is going to be upload your audio, put the title, the description, the um the artwork categories, but also a little a little box that podcasts that are associated with your account. So me as a podcaster. I would upload my audio. It would go to Red Roof Realty. Check. It would go to talking with. Uh, it would go to Will Tarashuk Realty. Check. When I hit submit, that one piece of audio goes to two listings on iTunes, two listings on Spotify, two listings on Google, two listings on Stitcher at the exact same time. That's huge. That is a huge networking opportunity that you can do for your business. And as far as I know. We are going to be the only platform that can actually do it. And that's just realty. You can copy and paste this for anything. So take Talking with Tarashuk. Talking with Tarashuk is a variety show. It's a mixed bag, but a podcast. I do podcasts like this, where I'm teaching you about my journey in podcasting. I do a podcast with Christian, where it's unknown, unnamed nonsense. We have a giant random list of questions, and we have a lot of fun and say some silly things. 
where I have another version of that podcast where I talk to professionals, I talk to my friends, I talk to athletes, I talk to authors, I talk to deadbeats and homeless people. That is a completely different aspect of all the same podcast. At the top, We'll be talking with Tarashek where I release where I release all three of those branches. It branches out into a bubble. Think of like a, a pie, not pie chart, the bubble chart, right? So all those live under the nucleus. But also, I have an individual feed where I, where I separate it. I organize it into a playlist where I talk with sports athletes. So if you listen to my podcast and I love you like my athlete my athletes interviews, or I'm talking about baseball or football. They're all right there for you. You don't need to be bogged down and annoyed by unknown, unnamed nonsense or talking about business and finance. You can just separate yourself from the pack. Or if you really like unknown, unnamed nonsense and you're a college kid and you like just saying ridiculous things, you can subscribe to the unknown, unnamed nonsense feed and completely skip the baseball feed because you're a theater major. So the, <laughs> the, the, point, the point of this is it is a way for you as a podcaster to organize your content like a YouTube playlist. And it's also an opportunity for your audience to pick and choose their path at what they want to listen to. Now, the benefit to that is all those downloads, it all adds up to one giant number. So your main feed, that main nucleus, might be a low subscriber count, but that's okay. That's by design. The, the, the business aspect might have a lot of downloads that might be really, really popular. That's okay. That's by design. And the reason I will do that is because I will tailor and target ads to each and every single playlist. So say for the Talking with Tarashik, the main feed, say it has 10,000 downloads a month, right? Those are people who listen to every single one of my verticals. They subscribe and like every single one of the bubbles. They are most likely to buy what I am selling. They are most likely to subscribe to a Patreon. They are most likely to buy this merch, which is actually real. You can buy this. Um, they are most likely to support another podcast I shout them out on. That's fine. They are my hardcore listeners. Whereas the sports branch, talking sports with Tarashuk, they are more likely to buy, um, say it has 100000 a month, they are more likely to buy ads from a sponsor. They are more likely to buy a Blue Chew ad. They're more likely to buy a Me Undies ad. They're more likely to buy sports supplements ads. So you advertise differently per feed. And you can do all of that from one account on one um, – by uploading one piece of audio to multiple different RSS feeds. Um, a sports network, ESPN. ESPN has like um, – Different different vertical podcasts. You can get even more meta with this, right? All the baseball podcasts on like MLB Tonight or MLB Network or if like Keith Oldman, not Keith Oldman, he isn't on ESPN anymore. Or if like whoever's on ESPN, like if Charlie Caruso does one or Charlie Arnold does one, you know, she can have her own feed. If that really cute guy with the gray hair that girls like on ESPN, I forget his name, Seth whatever, if he wants to do one, he can do one. If uh, Stephen A. Smith wants to do one, no one will listen to it, but he could have one, right? Oh, people hate it. People listen to it because they hate him. You can you can divvy it up however you want to divvy it up, and you can do that all from one account by clicking boxes, and it'll be on Spotify. You can have four different listings on Spotify by uploading a piece of audio once. How is that, Christian? I need a glass of water after that one. Hey, man, nail on the head. That is that is. But you can do that where in biggest podcast solution all right once the app is finished be clear about that yeah. so yeah like right now um it's in development as recording this on november 17th it is in development um at first it is going to be in um alpha form where we control all the back end and once it's ready for the public you'll be able to do this all by yourself we're gonna be looking for um investors we're gonna be looking for fundraising so all that's gonna be coming soon but that is the crux of ambiguous podcast solutions that is what separates us all from the pack. That is what Jared and I talk about when I talk about the napkin. This really is the crux of my company. That is my great grand idea. I just spilled it out all for you. Don't fucking steal it. <laughs> Got a copyright trademark yeah, between between after this, you know, yeah. before we release this. Yeah. But that's that's really that's the company in a nutshell. That huge rant, that passionate, invigorating, I need a glass of water rant. Really is what separates ambiguous podcast solutions, at least in theory right now, from everybody else. And the app is in development, and once that's ready, we're going to take this shit by storm. Well, simplified, user-friendly path 
to success and more viewership. Now, there are, there are reasons why other platforms do not do this. Now, for one, let's take Anchor, for example. Anchor is the biggest one because, one, it's free, and two, Spotify owns it. Now, how it makes sense for their business model is they don't allow you to post to multiple feeds at once. I'm assuming this is a guess now. I don't work there. I don't know anyone who works there. This is me just pontificating. Um, it's because they get money off of number of users on the platform, number of accounts created. So I have a wrestling network, um, Wrestle Act Radio, which Kings of the Rings is a part of, and we currently use Anchor. Now, under that feed, under that account, there's Wrestle Act Radio, there's Kings of the Rings, there's Fretzelmania, there's Young Lions Perspective, and there's like Wrestling with Impact. So that's that's five different accounts, right? Whereas for a biggest podcast solution, you'd be able to manage that entire network from one. Now, what's more attractive for Anchor? Five accounts or one account? And seeing as that when you create an RSS feed, it automatically goes to Spotify because Spotify owns it. What's more attractive to Spotify? One account or five accounts? The five. It's a little more annoying on the consumer. It's a little more work. But it's a strategy. It, it's a strategy. It makes more sense for their business model. I am banking on um, the consumer. I'm banking on the podcaster. I'm banking on the people more than just the strategy of corporations who I don't fully think understand podcasting the way I do at least. I just I think my philosophy is much better because I thought of it, obviously. But, no bias. Yeah, a little bias. But I, I think that's why all these platforms don't do what I thought of. And maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they see something I don't. But I'm I'm putting it all on black on that one. Yeah, I'm betting the house. I'm betting I'm betting Red Roof Realty on that one. It's like that Red Roof Realty. Is that real? I don't know if that's real or not. Well, you said I noticed you said Red House Realty. Red House then, Realty. Then you change it to Red Roof. But either either way, pretty good titles. Whatever, <laughs> whatever. Red House, Red Roof. Gold. I like Red Roof better because Red Red House is kind of yeah, weird. Who wants a Red House? Who wants a Red Roof? I mean. A lot of houses in Florida. But yeah, so that that is <laughs> more orange, I guess. That is my whole philosophy on multiple feeds, multiple RSS feeds, um, in doing it from one account. Because think about it, man. Like when you think of algorithms, when you go to Spotify right now and type in "talking with Tara Shuck," let's see what comes up. It's gonna be a little different because I'm subscribed to it, but uh, talking with Tara Shuck. So yeah, um, my podcast does show up as a top result, as it should, as under podcast. But all that's next to that, there's a few songs, there's some artists. And if I scroll down further to podcasts, we have Talking With Tech, we have Truth Talks With Tara, we have Tarduck's Escape Podcast, we have Talk With Army, we have TV LKS with TV Boo. Now, instead... Of all those five, two, four, five, you're welcome for, for free publicity, by the way. It would be talking with Tarashuk. It would be talking sports with Tarashuk. It would be talking nonsense with Tarashuk. It would be talking entrepreneurship with Tarashuk. It would be talking education with Tarashuk. It would be talking baseball with Tarashuk. It would, but the point is. Who are we talking to? Tarashuk. Oh. But the point is, there's just more listings. And then people can go, oh my God, what is this? I like baseball. Le okay. Oh, he interviewed Chase Utley? Cool. Chase Utley, by the way, I'd love to talk to you. But, you know, it's just it's easier for an audience to find you if there's more listings of you out there. Right? And it works for the, the, the algorithms. That's and, what I mean. And Google. Yeah, and with Google. Exactly. And it's not – I don't think it's considered spam or, like, abusing the terms of service at a platforms because it's just – it's RSS feeds. It's just more it's – it's, it's another submission. Don't get me wrong. So Spotify still gets the, still gets the gain, and the platforms still get the gain because they are getting another submission. They're getting another RSS feed. They're getting another podcast to their platform. It's just instead of originating, it's all being looped back to one user as opposed to a straight line with multiple users. It's The only thing that's different is the person distributing it, and I don't think they care about the person distributing it as long as, long as it gets distributed. So... Semantics. Semantics. And then it's a matter of uh, statistics. You know, um, I need to double check on this, but if you can track statistics based on the audio file, you're gold. You know, 
you don't need to do the math and try and add up different feeds and hire an internist to do math. Like, you know, what's 30,000 plus 15,416, right? It's just, it could all be aggregated through the app via the audio file, which is stored on either our own servers or on Amazon servers. But that's all technical mumbo jumbo that uh, Nathan needs to figure out and Nash needs to figure out because, you know, they own the company as well. But I love to know what you all think about my feeds idea. Again, don't steal it, please. I'll be very upset if, like, Amazon's like, guess what we have? Because they also release podcasts on uh, Amazon Podcasts. Actually, it's Audible. They release their podcasts on Audible. So do that as well.